Scorpio, welcome to the Spiritual Center. I am Sonia Parker and here is your Scorpio August Tarot reading for 2020. I hope you are well. I thought I would continue with this different style of reading again this month and I'm also giving uh, free personal readings of, as well so please keep watching. Okay the two decks that I'm using are the Spellcasters Oracle cards and they're by Flavia Kate Peters and Barbara Michael John Free. And the tarot deck that I'm using is the Shaman Caselli. Okay, as always, I've pulled a card for the overall energy and I'll also pull a card for each of the four weeks of the month. And also don't forget that free personal reading as well. So the card that we have for your overall energy is the beautiful butterfly. And the word is transformation. And this card is a sign for you this month, Scorpios, to let you know just how far you have come. Just how many obstacles and struggles that you've had along the way lately. It's almost as though you've been through the darkness and you've been held back and now you're to, ready to emerge into the light you're ready to fly like a butterfly you're totally balanced totally aware of who you are and where you're heading this transformation has taken place or it will take place this month so if you're still going for a rough patch, know that there is light, there is a change, there is a shift in energy. And I feel as though it's, your prayers have been answered. There could be a need for study with you as well. Um, and I do feel that this is spiritual development, either a spiritual development workshop, do a spiritual development circle. You're going to develop spiritually. This shift in energy that's taking place is going to lift you. This is about embracing what's coming. Because these changes are all for the better. You are coming through the darkness, Scorpio, and you're walking into the light. How beautiful is that? Okay. So let's see what advice and guidance we can get for Scorpios from the tarot for this month. Okay. We have reversed Temperance the Healing Angel. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. Sorry, the Nine of Swords. And the Justice card. And the card that's on the bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. Okay, so straight away, I feel, even though some of you may have come through the darkness, there's a lot of you that haven't. Um, Temperance, the healing angel, is reversed. I do not do reverse meanings in the tarot, only a blockage in the particular energy of the card. And I feel that... You're out of balance. You need to bring... I've got those feelings of being totally balanced and totally in a good place. Totally aware of who you are and where you're heading. And I feel that's coming. I feel that there's angels um, surrounding you, bringing you healing love. And this is almost as though this isn't just being balanced on the earth plane. This is balance of mind, body, and spirit this is all three coming together as one okay as you go into the second week we've got the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is for me a inheritance card a legacy this is your grandparents being proud of who you are and how far you've come and for me this one here who's standing there just looking this is somebody who is um content with everything that you've done content with everything that you've put into place it i just get proudness with this card i just get a feeling of 
family being very proud Obviously, it's the Ten of Pentacles, and Pentacles are tied to earth-based material things. So it could be that there's some money coming in your way as well. Um, there could be a change in jobs. There could be something that's handed down. I feel like there could be an heirloom. There could be um, jewellery or business or family business. There's something that's being handed down, and something's going to come into your possession in the within the first half of August and within that first couple of weeks okay as you go through to the third week we have the nine of swords the thing is with the nine of swords if you look all the swords are actually up on the wall they're not touching her she's sitting in bed she's got her hands folded and she's worrying but the only person that she is upsetting is herself this is where you need to be really careful especially with the things that the struggles and the obstacles that have gone on don't beat yourself up about them and don't don't make it so that you're the one that's hurting or you're the only one that's hurting and there's someone there that i can see smirking i can see you smiling as though they don't give a monkeys but this is going to cause you sleepless nights if you're not careful you need to pack up those worries into little bags put write the thoughts down write the worries down Put them into a little bag, tie it in a knot and put it in the bin. This is about freeing up space in your mind as well. Free up the space in your mind because the last card that we have, you've got justice this side, which is a major arcana. Uh, sorry, temperance this side and justice that side. Both major arcana, both causes of things that are going on. Justice is the karma card. Justice means justice will be served. Um... The meanings of the cards in the tarot it is quite literal. If you look at the picture, justice will be served. She has the scales of balance and she holds the sword. The, whole, the sword is clarity of thought. So those clarity of thoughts that are here, whatever that situation is, it's going to resolve itself. It's as though you're going to be able to cut it away, no longer serves you. Because your final energy, final outcome for the month is the four of wands and the four of wands is your celebration you will be celebrating i feel that you it's almost as though you're going into we've got the butterfly underneath with transformation but you've come to everything that you've done so far has led you to this spot here and now right now not last month next month the month after here and now it's led you to where you are right this moment and this is where this transformation is going to take place this is where the healing is coming in from the angels and this is where you're going to be successful because you're going to recognize it as well and you're going to recognize it for what it is well scorpios i hope you have a lovely august again look out for that inheritance look out for that family heirloom that business something being passed down within the first couple of weeks i think that's really important as i said at the beginning of the reading i am doing um free personal readings this month just type yes please and your full date of birth in the comments and i will read for those that i feel drawn to and try and do as many as i can um i do have a lot of other things going on we're doing spiritual development sessions and workshops. Have a look on the website, spiritualcenter.net. Subscribe to the newsletter. And you will also be put into the raffle for a free personal reading each month as well. So take a look over there too. God bless you, Scorpios. I hope you have a lovely August.